My name is Liz and today I have driven about half an hour out into the country to join John and Gord on one of their permissions. Lots and lots of area here to detect and it is a very chilly morning. It is zero Celsius and it's feeling like minus three. Let's see what kind of history we can step on and detect. So my first find of the day turns out to be a little spoon. That's actually a pretty good find. I am detecting beside the road here, so I don't know. Maybe somebody was having their lunch a long time ago, but that is an actually really nice find. Right on, right on. Well, I don't know what that is, but I'm still down by the road. Wow. I don't know, top of a bell maybe? I'm not too sure. Okay. <laughs> what on earth do you suppose that is? Looks like a handle, perhaps. Uh, copper of some sort. I think it's a handle of something, but it's really, really heavy. Nice signal. I don't believe that's very old. Not too bad for a surface find. Nice, a 36 high tone on the legend. I got another spoon. <laughs> right there. You know what? I'm going to clean this one up a little bit. See if there's any designs on it, and I'll get right back to you. Well, there's a, there's a little bit of a design, but you can't really see it on this camera. Oh, what does that say? There's some writing on it as well. I don't think I told you, but the farmer said that arrowheads have been found on this field in some of his other fields away uh, just away up from here so I'm gonna keep my eyeballs peeled right on right on all right I have a high tone listen to it and then we're gonna dig it <laughs> Three Pharaoh check is all on the right side, so let's dig it. Bazinga, cancel. Really? Well, this was a high tone, but I don't think it's anything that we should get excited about. fitting or something. All right. Oh, it's another spoon. Oh. What 
What does that say? It says Sheraton. Are you kidding me? Well, it does say Sheraton. So, I don't know. I don't know. That is three spoons for me. John has a couple. I don't know. I guess they were eaten here. All right. High tone, 35. Down by the road. There you go. There, that's better. A little bit of horse tack, I think. That's a good sign. Back to back finds down by the road. All right. John has a signal. John, have you got your fair share of spoons today? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I've heard of taking your own food to a restaurant with no spoons. <laughs> John, is there somebody that you want to say hello to right now? Susan, Amy, Christine. Three, there's got to be one more. Susan, Reenie, Christine, Deborah. Oh, I did remember you guys. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. Perhaps. This is my new invention. Look at that. John learned a tip from the gold prospectors. I yep. learned because of my knees. You don't own it yet. I don't don't own it yet. I can't oh, kneel down. Nope. No, not quite. I can see it. I've got it. All right, folks, big disappointment. <laughs> John gets bazingas too. Of course. Oh. A nail. That's all right, John. You did say hello to the folks back home. I did. Thank you very much, Liz. <laughs> all, right. all right. Thank you, John. <laughs> Adios. Bye-bye. Pretty sure I have another spoon down by the road. Oh, it's only, it's only a piece. Well, handle anyways. We have moved to a new location, about four fields down from where we were. The other field was way too quiet. And other than teaspoons, a little bit of horse tack, not too much. So this field is, the farmer is letting it grow as grass. So um, it's a lot easier on the feet. Let's see what we can find. Since we're on grass, I thought I'd make a nice plug because I don't want to make too much of a mess. And this was a great signal. And as soon as I rolled the plug over, look what's on my shovel still in the dirt. Oh my goodness, another spoon. Here we go again. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Had to do a battery change. My battery died and met up with the farmer who was giving us the history of the area. So, spoon, continuation of the other property. Let's continue. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This was a 33 signal. Have a look at what I just found in the hole. <laughs> oh my 
gosh, I don't even know. If... Oh my goodness. Wow. Unbelievable. I, I don't know what to say. Wow, those are really, really long tongs. Wow. Wow. I guess farmers did a lot of eating. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously. I am just in front of this shack, I guess. Nice signal. And, uh, Ornate. I'm going to be careful with this one. Oh, I think I got it. Oh my god, it's nothing. Uh, just wire. I actually thought it was something. Wow. Nice 41 signal. I opened the hole, got the plug, and it's in the plug. So I thought we would find it together. Ah, oh, what is that? I think it's crap. Is that crap? aluminum nice a 33 signal and oh my goodness the theme is continuing I think I think oh my gosh oh yeah it's a spoon bowl Wow there's the part where the handle would have been my goodness. John just dug a spoon as well. My goodness. Wow. All right, this was a nice signal, but it was the ferro chuck was leaning towards the left. But I thought I'd dig it anyways just to see. Because I'm still learning. Oh, what the heck is that? Probably some sort of a tractor piece. Very heavy. Well, I would imagine that is some sort of a tractor piece or farm machinery piece. Really, really heavy. And now I have to take it back with me. All right. This was a nice signal. Ferro check was kind of like both sides. And as I am still learning, I dug it. Looks like some sort of a iron ring of some sort. All right. Yeah, you guessed it. 27 signal. My goodness. <gasps> wow. Let's dig it out together. There it is. Nope. All right. Wow. I honestly have lost track, but I'm thinking, wow. A heck of a lot of spoons. My goodness. This is a Digging Canuck record for spoons. Wow. Hmm. All 
right could be a drawer pull. Not a very ornate one. Pretty sure that's what that is. It's threaded here, so I don't know. Check this out. I really have to share this with you. This explains all of the forks and especially the spoons that we have been finding. A long time ago, the farmer's father used to actually go out to different hospitals and hotels, motels, and get their leftover food. Then they would bring it all back into a shed that's on the property and they would boil it. And after they boiled it, they would feed it to the pigs. That totally explains the forks as well as, he said there was knives too, but have, we haven't found any knives yet, but I'm sure that we will. How cool is that? So the food, leftover food that they boiled, they didn't check for knives and forks and spoons. So when they gave it to the pigs, there you go. That explains the crazy amount of spoons that we have been finding. How cool is that? That's going to be it for today. We will definitely be back here again. The farmer has given, uh, given us carte blanche and he has a ton more fields. So how cool is that? Right on, right on. Until next time, remember to keep it real and get your nook on.